because they stop the amateurs regularly. The odd times, um, they will catch somebody who is uh, good at his game. Uh, they, what they usually catch, and they get large quantities, are people who have grown too big too fast, who have grown by luck or by backer money or by uh, a very ambitious means to a size beyond which, uh, rather, to a size at which they are, in some respects, incompetent, who depend on luck in crossing the border uh, or collusion uh, with guards, uh, which I don't think is uh, something to rely upon. As the old adage goes, all police are volunteers. There are no draftees in that army. I, I think the uh, police are uh, a phenomenon of our culture. They're contained by our culture. They have uh, the values of our culture. And uh, I don't... Um, I, I really don't blame the individuals involved, except mm, the absolute idiots, you know. Uh, the guys who, uh, who fall back on their uniform for the sort of... Uh, the false security and the false power that they, you know, they wield with that, with that uniform. But uh, police generally, I, I don't feel bad about them. I think uh, we need police. I think that, um, that there, uh, there's a fantastic element in our society that needs certain controls and, certain, and, and needs the police, really, you know. <laughs> I, uh, but I, I still react uh, paranoid. I have a paranoid reaction to police because of what I'm doing. As a result, I, I, after a while, uh, after I've been dealing heavily for a short time and perhaps doing a couple of foolish things, I uh, get the feeling there's a, a great gray shadow over my shoulder, and uh, you know, if I trip or stumble, I, I'm going to be uh, have a foot planted in my back. But uh, I don't know if that relates to the police or my father. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, street police, the uh, uniform police, are almost well in my personal experience have uh, been uh, quite reasonable. Um, most, uh, as with most people who are involved in something that is illegal on a fairly professional level, you treat the police with a fair amount of respect and they tend to reciprocate that. Uh, your, your transactions with the police are very business-like. The uh, general uh, opinion among people who have had some successful uh, relations with the police in my profession is that they tend to be teddy bears rather than pigs. They uh, they can scratch and so on and so forth. But generally speaking, they're fairly roly-poly and business-like, and they won't hurt you unless you give them a lot of trouble. Police, generally speaking, in Toronto are a very good bunch. Uh, the RCMP in particular seems to be very fair. I'm not very paranoid about police because uh, I have them more or less where I work. They make a profit from me. I handle them really well. They make the profits uh, high because um, they bust people and put them in jail and make the whole business unpleasant for people who uh, don't handle them properly. And as a result, uh, the market is a large market. <laughs> and suffers from uh, short change rates and uh, deterioration of product um, because profit is more important than uh, reputation to a lot of businessmen. However, one must make a buck, eh? I, I believe in uh, uh, essentially free enterprise, conservative, right-wing, whatever, social environment and a left-wing or uh, socialistic economic environment. Not welfare, no, but uh, an equality of means. And, uh, rather than holding the bottom of the society up, you hold the top of society down. But I did go through a period of about six months when uh, I was a love hippie. I had, uh, I had some, some theory about uh, our existence. I, I don't even remember now. <laughs> It was uh, some notion about uh, everything being uh, uh, being reducible to uh, what I need to love and I need to be loved, and uh, everything, uh, every moral value being reduced to your responsibility to love and always to give. I found after uh, after that six months that I was uh, pretty well spiritually and definitely economically exhausted. Uh, 
going around with a philosophy like that, I uh, managed to attract a number of leeches who just uh, stuck on. They just drained me you know, over a period of time. You know, the philosophy doesn't work because uh, not everyone believes it. If everyone were giving and uh, everyone were uh, taking only what he needed to take, uh, fine. <laughs> is my bit in terms of uh, causing people to reassess themselves. I have no, uh, I, I have no image of an ideal society. I, uh, I see things as changing. I see everything as relative. I, uh, I look at history and I see uh, the changes that have been, uh, that have gone down and there are the implications of what is possible to go down. And, uh, I, I have no plan uh, to tell people this is the way you should live. Generally speaking, uh, we're not directly politically oriented, the group, as a group, or the individuals. There are individuals who express uh, liberal views, but uh, basically speaking, if they're presented uh, with the problem of expressing a philosophy politically, it would probably be rather conservative, since uh, anyone who runs his own business, in a sense, is a conservative. Um, one of the reasons given by members of the group for their uh, participation is that they don't want to, as I've said earlier, have too much to do with the government. They, it's, uh, they don't trust the government. I don't think it's so much the Canadian government they don't trust, but uh, that the, uh, not in its, or rather, it's not the Canadian government that they don't trust. In the Canadian government's domestic activities, it's the influence of the Americans. We feel that uh, other businesses which operate at perhaps a different... Um, well, we like to feel a different moral level, but whose resources are rather more substantial, should uh, make it their business of supporting the government since they reap most of its benefits. I really don't like sort of... Um, um, uh, the monkey phenomenon where uh, people just uh, accept what's gone down, you know, and uh, they go through that. I'd really like them uh, to be put nowhere and then have to get somewhere. I think I'll be more politically conscious uh, after I do have children. I'll have... Uh, an investment in the future. Right now, I, uh, I'm personally going to be dead in so many years, but if I have someone that I love who's going to live far beyond that, uh, certainly I'd be interested, very interested.